Good afternoon, guys. <clears throat> I got me the Dillon Precision Super Swatch 600 to swatch the military brass. I had the RCBS uh, swatching uh, die system where you mounted it on a press and uh, it had a little cap that ejected it. You pushed it up into the die and it uh, it did good, but after a while whenever you go to eject it you actually had to really get down on it right here and squeeze it to pop it loose and that got to hurting, hurting my uh, wrist and knocking everything off my little stand there and I researched the RCBS one because it was, it, was, it was roughly about $22 cheaper than this one and I uh, heard complaints about it because it had like two mounting system uh, mounting bolts somewhere in this area and and you actually had to do a side torque pull on it to uh, swatch the brass and eject, I meant to loosen it. And I heard some people say that the cast iron broke on it. So, uh, never used it. But I heard good reports of it and then I've heard a lot of negative reports. Never heard a negative report on the Dillon now it's high it was you know Dillon's are a little bit more costly and all but this thing is made out of the same material that the 650 is made out it looks like a an alloy aluminum uh, housing uh, really strong and beefy and it's got three mounting points to it one right here here and one down in there so it's not going to allow any torquing or movement of the housing so what I'm trying to do is uh, some folks are not familiar with uh, swadging. You see the little military roll crimp in the primer pocket. This is all these down here. I got a whole bunch to do. Those bags down there to do, and I got about three thousand of them to do. So uh, I figure I'm gonna give this thing a workout right here. But it works really simple. You basically put the put it on the little mandrel, flip it down and push your lever down until it stops and then you come up and what it does it just releases you flip it up to take it take it off and this is what it looks like after it's done let me see if see if i can get it to where to focus see that nice little smooth edge around that primer pocket now versus what it looked like before that real rough edge and stuff well, let me get one of the same, the same head stamp. Here you go. Let me get it to focus real quick. Uh, night and day difference. We'll do this one real quick. Push it down. Cock it down. I mean, it's not even hard. What I did, I mounted it on a piece of uh, wood here, uh, some Spanish cedar here. And all I've got it do, I've got it is just clamped to the bench, and it's good, good and sturdy. That way I can move it out of the way. I'm just I only got about a six foot bench, and you see, just how nice the little crimp is now. Uh, I highly recommend the thing. It's a, it's a, it's big. It looks like it's. I'm not real sure of the dimensions here, but it looks like it's about eight or nine inches long, and at least uh, two inches thick. Uh, I meant wide and probably an inch and three quarter thick made out of real solid stuff so it's it's a good product guys I, I recommend it does a wonderful job on the brass thanks